As a teacher or an administrator, using precision exams, being able to know what your students are seeing and how they are interacting with the software will help you facilitate your exams for your students. This guide will walk you step by step through what your students experience when they are navigating precision exam software. The login screen is the first thing your students will see. The students will log into the exam using the test code you generated. When the teacher authorizes the student, the second two boxes will check, allowing the student to begin the exam. Once in the exam, there are a few distinct types of questions that a student might see. These include grouping, multiple answers, multiple choice, drag and drop, and pin drop. In addition to the questions themselves, students will have options to make facilitating the exam a little smoother. First we have flag questions. Students might get tripped up on a question or need more time to think about it. In this case, students can flag questions to come back to later. Also is show flagged questions. At the end of the exam, students might have a number of flagged questions. This way, students can click this button to show only questions that they need to come back to. Lastly is hide timer. The timer at the top is helpful to know the time remaining students have in the exam and therefore how much time they can dedicate to the remaining questions. However, if students find this distracting, this option will hide the timer allowing students to test without it. Once all the questions have been answered and the student is satisfied with their responses, they click the Submit button and the test is scored. The next screen will display the student's score including the percentage that were answered correctly. Students also have the option to receive their test scores through email. The student score report, which can be emailed to students, shows their score, percentage, and the result of the test. It also outlines the percentage of questions answered correctly for each standard. The teacher then has the ability to pull reports for the test given. Here we have the Proctor Standard Report, which shows results of the student's test scores. The standard summary lists the knowledge standards and number of questions assigned to each standard. This summary correlates with the assessment summary below, where you are able to view how well the students did in each standard and where progress can be made. Life as a student can be hectic. At Precision Exams, we are committed to making the examination process smoother for teachers, administrators, and students.